Morphemes are crucial components of English language. However, the number of studies and research regarding English morphemes and vocabulary and high deaf students is very limited. Our study aims to bridge research gap in English language teaching and learning for Thai deaf students. This study was published in Journal of Language Teaching and Research in 2022. Hello, my name is Assistant Professor Dr. Apivit Ling Isra. I'm currently a graduate faculty member in the graduate programs in Applied Linguistics, Faculty of Liberal Arts, Mahidon University. My name is Nadine Subin. I completed master's degree in uh, Applied Linguistics at Faculty of Liberal Arts, Mahidon University. Currently, I'm developing a doctoral project regarding English morphemes and English de instruction development for Thai deaf students. As for the research overview, the main objectives are to assess the order of English morpheme acquisition among Thai deaf students and to identify specific types of English morpheme which are difficult for this group of students. Morphemes are essential components in English language because they constitute smallest meaningful units within words. For deaf students in Thailand, learning and understanding English morphemes and vocabulary could be challenging due to multiple factors such as lack of phonological experience and over-reliance on grammar translation method. Our study aims to bridge the research gap in English language teaching for this group of students. As for the methodology, we have a total number of 48 Thai deaf college students to participate in our study. They were asked to complete the 18 fill-in-the-blank question item as adapted from Burgo in 1958. For data scorings, we analyze our data using the bilingual syntax measures proposed by Dulé and Bert. Data were analyzed by means of frequency, percentage, means and standard deviation. We found a unique order of English morpheme acquisition for Thai deaf university students as following article, plural, regular past tense, progressive, the third person singular present simple tense, auxiliary, irregular past tense, copula and possessive. Uh, interestingly, this order is different from the order of acquisition, namely natural order hypothesis proposed by Stephen Crashane in the 70s. Uh, in addition, we identify specific types of English morphemes which are difficult for this group of students as following the third person singular present simple tense, auxiliary, irregular past tense, copula, and possessive. And as for implications of the study, the, the findings from this study is valuable for English language teaching in Thailand, especially for the development of English language instruction for deaf learners in Thailand. By the findings, we also learn that which kind of morpheme that are considered more difficult for Thai deaf students. So by using this kind of information, we can lay the instruction in a more effective fashion for the Thai deaf learner in learning English language. Based on the findings of this study, I have extended my research scope to develop instruction and materials uh, for teaching English prepositions for this group of students. The instruction and materials are based on cognitive linguistic approach. I aim to enhance Thai deaf students' understanding and acquisition of English morphemes and vocabulary. Lastly, I believe that this study could contribute to broader views of English language teaching and research for the students in Thailand. If you are interested in our study, it is available in Journal of Language Teaching and Research or simply scan QR code at the end of the clip.